5 Reasons to Buy the Toyota Corolla AE86 Unknown to many people except car fans, the Toyota Corolla AE86 is one of the all-time great cars to come out of the 80s and 90s. Here are 5 reasons why you should buy the AE86. Number 1. The Chassis There aren't many cars with the setup that the AE86 Corolla has. Rear-wheel drive, a naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine, and a manual gearbox. The Corolla sits on surprisingly high-profile tires, so the ride isn't as firm as you might think. Its successor, the GT86, follows the same formula, despite being a fair bit heavier. Most rear-wheel drive cars are heavy, but with more power, like BMW's range. The AE86 is unique in that respect, being small, nimble, and lightweight. The close ratio 5-speed gearbox means you're not going to be breaking any top speed records, but second gear corners should be a pleasure for whoever is driving. Number 2. The Engine the 4AGE engine is perhaps one of the most famous parts of this car. The idle is buzzy and the throttle response is instantaneous thanks to the cable rather than electronic throttle. Putting out 123 horsepower and 7,600 RPM redline, the engine makes the car fun for the same reason that the Miata is so well liked. The fact that you can use all of the performance. Although the car isn't slow, you can push it to its limits even in a street environment. The engine sounds great too, making a distinctive metallic rasp sound. Number 3. The Heritage The founder of competitive drifting, Kaichi Tsuchiya, famously drove his AE86 on the mountain passes of Japan. The car's legendary status was truly cemented a few years later, however, when it became the star of the hugely successful Japanese comic book series Initial D. Based on Tsuchiya, the lead character of the series was a nighttime delivery driver and a street racer named Takumi Fujiwara who of course drives an AE86. As well as this, the AE86's successes in circuit racing and rallying make this one hell of an iconic vehicle in the JDM and even collectible car world. Number 4. Its Appearance The great thing about the AE86 is that only those in the know will understand what it is. The external appearance oozes an analogue coolness that not many cars can match. The proportions of both the Levin and Trueno variants are fantastic, although opinions vary tremendously over which people prefer. Whether you like the pop-up headlights of the Trueno or the squared-off looks of the Levin is up to you. They both perform equally great. 
The minimal bluish interior looks great also, harking back to a time where simplicity was more important than having the latest infotainment system. Number 5. It's lightweight. A key factor that makes this car so great is its lightness. Weighing in at just 970 kilos, the modest engine propels the car to 60 miles per hour in just 8.3 seconds. Modern cars have become so heavy with safety equipment and luxury. Its lightweight and relatively small engine also makes it quite efficient too, achieving 45.6 mpg on the combined cycle UK MPG. The sub-ton curb weight keeps in cornering and foregoes the requirement for power steering. The brakes are also less stressed, so they'll last longer than modern cars might. Even something like the E30 M3 is 160 kilos heavier. In summary, the Corolla is a car from a time when Japanese manufacturers were keen to prove themselves. The AE86 has become a hero over the past two decades, and the prices show that. Although the initial costs may now be hard to stomach, you're not going to be losing money on a Corolla these days. Rust, rices, and lack of parts have been pushing them to the scrapyards at an alarming rate. Get one now before it's too late. Are you a fan of this car, or do you think it's overrated? Would you like to own an AE86? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching, and please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you liked the video. Cheers!